With us today is Fisher & Paykel's Clint Young, live from their exciting product exhibit at the show. We're in the uh, DCS by Fisher Paykel outdoor kitchen area. Now you might be saying, well, I'm not in the grill business. I would urge you to stop for a moment and consider that there's a huge market out there, and I'd submit to you it's an untapped market, the outdoor kitchen market. Even in the cool climates, we have heaters to extend the grilling season. So take a listen. I think you might find there's some really good opportunities here. Everything I'm going to be showing to you is all provided by DCS by Fisher Paykel. Everything from the tools to the cabinet tops to the, the, uh, the inserts and everything here, these are products that we stock. And we would urge you to show these on display. For the customer that looks at this and says, I want this, you've got it, you can deliver it. They can have an outdoor kitchen tonight or tomorrow. So there's some tremendous opportunities here. So now let's get into the training part of the presentation here and why DCS. First of all, the craftsmanship, the fit, feel, and finish of this product is absolutely the best in the industry. When you take a closer look at the products, Take a look at where all the seams are, where all the welds are. It's smooth, it's finished, there's no sharp edges. Great craftsmanship, so these things make a great statement on your sales floor. Open the lid, it's good and sturdy. You look at the grates, stainless steel, cast stainless steel grates, heavy, heavy duty uh, rotisserie, huge motor. The rotisserie motor and the spit will hold over 50 pounds. Um, you got a bright light off to the side for your grilling and everything. Everything is just speaks quality. And so when the customer comes in and they're looking for the very finest, I would submit to you this is the best grilling out there. Excellent. Tell us more. So when you're grilling, what kind of heat do you need? Well, you need high heat for searing, right? Well, if you do a close-up on here, you'll see that every single burner can be set to sear. We met that the cooking temperature on the surface of the grates is 950 degrees, and it's 950 any place that you look at it. So when you're grilling steaks, say you've got some neighbors over, and some of them uh, they want their their steaks rare. You put it on sear, depending upon the thickness of the meat, but maybe two or three minutes on each side, it's done. But the challenge, whether you're grilling outside or you're at a steakhouse, the customer that wants their steak medium, medium well. Now typically you just leave it on a little bit longer. You're baking all of the, the juices out of it. You're drying your steak out. What you want to be able to do is transfer from the a searing area to a lower temperature and let that finish the steak at a lower temperature. That way it keeps the juices in there, keeps the flavor in there. Your steaks will be perfect. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to take a little closer look here. Let's start with the grates themselves. First of all, these are two-sided grates. And again, cast stainless steel, heavy duty. When you're showing this to your customer, put this in their hand. First side is for your steak side. These lines here will put the nice sear marks on it. But someone you're doing fish for someone or chicken, those things tend to stick. Well, you use this side of the grates, more rounded, if you can see it from the angle there. But it still has a channel in it. Now, the channels here, and here, and again on a close-up, you'll see that these are at a slight angle. That's going to take all your excess juices, they're going to flow down into a tray area down here. There's an opening, and all that excess grease will go into a grease tray down, down here. So what we're trying to avoid here is to limit flare-ups, because that's the real enemy of a steak. You get a flare-up underneath there. <laughs> You're going to burn a hole right through your steak or you got to stand there with uh, some water spraying on it. Not with DCS. Here's the other reason. Underneath each set of, of uh, grates are these ceramic rods. They're hollow inside. Now the first benefit of that is you get fast heat up. So you want to preheat your grill. It takes maybe 10 minutes and that's all. The second thing, these are round. There's no place for a drip to land on this and hold in place, like with briquettes, for example. There's no round, there's no solid place for the for the dripping to stay and continue to flare up. Here they're gonna hit this, be incinerated, and just bring the, the flavor and the smoke right back up into your food, further adding to the to the flavor. So that's a real key thing. I see. Then down inside, 
on a close-up, you'll see that we have stainless steel burners down here. Stainless steel is a superior product. Some others use uh, maybe cast iron or something like that. Stainless steel doesn't absorb the heat. It passes it right up to your cooking surface, and that's why you get such a great searing performance on the DCS grill. Okay? Uh, again, reviewed on the, uh, the rotisserie. Hold 50 pounds, and it'll turn 50 pounds. When you're showing this to your customer, try to grab this thing and hold on to it. It just about, you just can't stop. <laughs> okay? Good, solid performance. You have a separate burner back here for your rotisserie. Very nice. Can you tell us about the storage area below? Now, below the grill, we have great storage. Again, when you're showing this to your customer, emphasize the fit, feel, and finish of these drawers. Great craftsmanship. Make sure your customer opens and closes these and they'll see just how smooth these come out. Good and solid. You can put an LP tank in here or further storage. Right now it's set up for your LP tank if it's going to be on natural gas. These are just screwed in. You can just take those little flaps out that hold the tank in and further aid in your storage down here. Make sure that your customer though opens and closes these doors. Great fit, feel, and finish. Now we also offer some other necessities for the outdoor kitchen. How about a sink for preparation and cleanup? How about outdoor side burners out here? 17,000 BTUs. Got some grilling going on over here. Maybe you've got some uh, gumbo uh, outside. So uh, what, a, what a great way to cook, okay? Storage down here, storage drawers inside. Drawers, great fit, feel and finish. Again, make sure the customer checks it out. Okay. Again, we sell the tools. We sell the, the, the connection pieces here. We sell the countertops. Everything that the customer's gonna need for their outdoor kitchen. That grill would look great on my patio. Is there anything more you can tell us about it? Now, one of the nice things about these grills is the ignition system. It's a battery ignition. You just push the button, you hear it click, and the battery is located right here where this emblem is. So when the, it's a nine volt battery, and when it, so when it finally wears out, you just pull the tray all the way out. You can reach right up there, pull the battery out, pop another one in. Now you know that battery's gonna go dead when you got a whole deck full of people, right? And it's not, not a battery in the house. So now how do you light this thing manually? Very safely is how you light it. There's a tube that starts down here where it's side ported on the, on, the, uh, on the burner. And up here is an opening. And all you have to do is turn the gas on, put your flame safely here. The gas forms a vacuum, it will come up, it will be ignited, send a flame right down and safely light your burner. Not only that, it crosses over and will extend the flame all the way to the other side. You can start on the right side of the grill or the left side, works exactly the same way. That's a convenient feature. Well, what's next, Clint? All right, now we've talked about the cooking part of your outdoor kitchen. Now let's get into some of the more fun part. My personal favorite, the beer tap. Again, from DCS by Fisher Pikel, we offer this as well as outdoor refrigeration. Single door refrigeration and a drawer refrigeration that we also offer. And also a UL approved outdoor ice maker. Nice. So we've talked about cooking, we've talked about keeping your beverage uh, cold, and the last thing that we want to remind you about is we have outdoor heating. We have awning and standalone heaters to extend your grilling season. So everything that you need for the outdoor kitchen, I consider it to, you might want to consider adding this to your lineup. Fisher and Pikel never fails to amaze. Thanks for your time, Clint. We hope you've enjoyed this installment of the Imagination-Wide HD Networks at the show. Our store has joined forces with thousands of independent dealers from coast to coast in a nationwide organization with billions of dollars in buying power. So you get the right products at the right price every day. To find out more, just ask any member of our team. We're here to help. <laughs>